We've all had moments where we were upset to learn that we'd lost a special photo after accidentally deleting it. But thankfully, that feeling is stuck in the past. Thanks to cloud storage, anyone can ensure their photos are never lost again. Google Photos allows for full backups of all of your photos for free. And restoring photos from Google Photos after you factory reset your device is just as easy. Here's how to do it. Generally speaking, no matter your reason for performing a factory reset, you should always ensure that you've backed up valuable data, including photos. Cloud storage and local external storage are both great backups and you should use both in order to ensure you never lose data again. No matter whether you have an Android device or an iPhone, Google Photos' marquee feature is Backup and Sync, which allows you to backup all of your photos and videos from your device to the web. By default, these backups store in high-resolution copies that keep your content stored with fantastic quality, albeit slightly compressed and downscaled from the original versions. You can choose to change your upload quality to full-resolution photos and videos, but these backups will count against your Google account's storage space. For most people, the free, high-res backups are more than enough. If you haven't already enabled Backup and Sync for your photos, launch the app on your device. On Android, tap on the triple-lined menu icon in the top left corner of your screen and go to Settings. Then tap on Backup and Sync and toggle it on to upload photos and videos from your device to your Google account. On iOS, tap on your profile photo in the top right, then toggle on Backup and Sync from the Settings menu. Make sure your entire photo library backs up prior to a factory reset. After you've reset your phone, download Google Photos again if it isn't included by default with your phone. Sign back into your account and you'll have access to your cloud-saved files without any downloads. However, if you want to download some of these photos or videos back to your device, you'll need to do it manually. On iOS, you can bulk select photos or videos to download, then tap the share icon and select save to device. On Android, unfortunately, you'll need to open each photo or video one by one, tap the triple dotted menu icon in the top right corner, and select download from the list of options. If you liked this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Google Photos and other technology. And do not forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.